Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. This is Thwip, and I gotta, gotta lower my chair a little bit. This is Thwip, and let's get started. Start my timer. 11 million. Ho ho ho, yes. What do I want to do? Can I train myself? Oh, wait, no. I'm gonna train you. Need more design. Let's try this one. Let's see what this one does. 007. Wow, 3 million. That, that was a pretty good... Yeah. That's right, I'm doing it. Sequel to Alcatraz. Maybe for the place it's in four. It's gonna use the Whip Tech 3.0. Oh crap, I forgot she's doing research. Poop. Stop doing research. Stop training. boost to compensate for this chick. Okay. Yeah. Alcatraz 2. Oh yes. We get lots of people here. Yeah. Place 84, that's a pretty big jump. Look at all that height, holy crap. I'm in no hurry. Rack up all the stuff. Sticky with the arrow keys when you want to retype something. I'm not sure why that is. 3.5. Choices. Basic physics online play. Achievements. Skill trees. Virtual economy.
Look at all the research we're getting. A million, whatever. Gives me an idea. The online play and the skill tree and the virtual economy. One million. Yep. Million dollar engine. Ooh. Do more research. Dungeon. Oh, why? Transport, I guess. Do some transport. Do some research. We get 80 research points. Come on, man. There we go. Develop a new game. Topic? Nothing. Genre. Uh, simulation. Casual. PC. Yeah, PC. Because I want more advanced type of controls, you know. I'm sure. Open world season. <laughs> Open world season. It's a terrible title, but who cares? 3D Graphics version 3, that's right. It's gonna be a gorgeous game. Moral choices, advanced cutscenes, basic physics, online play. Yeah, uh, achievements, and skill trees. got to hunt for what's, you know, for what's rare, for what people want, and then you have to go and, like, sell things, and it's online, so you're, like, competing with an online thing, so it's real world, it's what people are really selling things for, you know, the more people catch this, the value goes down, the less people catch this, the value starts to go up, that would be awesome. I'm not, I'm not too big on hunting games, but I would totally play this hunting game. season. I want like, oh, really? Seven? Good. That's what I like. Seven. Five. Ugh. Do some research, bud. Um. We want advanced body language because... <laughs> Damn, it's so hard to choose. Does the CR mean critical? Yeah, we want advanced body language. Let's go with a medium booth. Okay, so that's a pretty good game. Yeah. It's giving us some cash. How many people did we get? 
Didn't make it in the top 100. Okay. I wonder if, you, if it's even like possible to make it into the uh, top 100 with a, with a small booth. We're gonna develop a sequel. second Assassin's Creed game was way better than the first Assassin's Creed game. Let's go, let's get going. Let's get going on Assassin's Play. Oh yeah. Got some hype building for Assassin's Play. Numero doso. I'm bringing some new characters. make another RPG. We haven't made enough RPGs. Yeah. Sorry guys, got I got a text message. I'm not... It's... I just responded because this game doesn't really require my full attention. Alright, so not bad sales. Pretty good sales. Okay. All right. Yeah, throw more stuff on there. All done. New record, breaking records. sequel. See, because this is what Assassin's Creed 2 was, was it was just like the first Assassin's Creed, but it was so much more polished, so much more immersive. You cared about the characters so much more. And that's really what this was. It was just like a super duper polished version of the first Assassin's Creed. Great responses. Really driving technical innovation. Oh, yes! How can I train you? You sure need some some research. What is research? Innovation challenge, maybe? That seems like research. Driving. Does that help his research? Yeah, it does. Okay. Everything else, like the more the merrier, but research is super important right now, because it's what it's what we're really lacking. This, this is a great game. So I can do that, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna develop a new game. Topic. Warzone. 
I'm really not interested in any consoles outside of the Play System 4 because I feel like I feel like it's real. Like, okay, the PC and the PlayStation, or PC and PlayStation, have always been like big, like really successful, steady things that you buy games for. As much as I like Xbox, the Xbox One um, is not what I will be buying if I do ever buy one of these consoles in the near future. Well, I will buy one eventually, but maybe not in the near future. So yeah, I'll be buying the PlayStation 4, the, the M X M Box slash Xbox, I'm not finding much interest in, purely because of the fact that the Xbox One sucks. That's the same thing with the Woo. It's like, there's nothing wrong with this console, and it might pick up eventually, and I'm talking about in real life. But right now, it's like, there's not, it's not something that I want slash need. It's not something I personally am going to buy. This is something I'm definitely going to buy, no questions asked. First console, and then maybe this, and then maybe, maybe, maybe this. Probably not <laughs> this. So that, that's really my, uh, my thinking here. Research points there. Racking up that research at 80 points. That's good. That's what we want. That's where we want to be for our future endeavors when it comes to research. Special award ceremony, our main meeting at the end of the day. Please come hit the game and end this year. Okay. I really don't have any other option according to this game, so I can't decline. Already made a million. Awesome. Whatever. But we gotta... Why does it say that that's critical? Vegan games. I probably should have done that a long time ago. I'm gonna do that next. Um... Does it say CR? Does that stand for critical? Like, I'm honestly confused by that. Fire up the, sh the sails. Alright, let's develop a sequel. Ooh, 
birth broken. No, game dev tycoon and desire for speed to the road so far. Game 46. Okay. What's it gonna be called? It's a sci-fi adventure RPG. Planetcraft. Starcraft, Planetcraft, yeah, whatever. PC. 3.5. Graphics version 3. Alright, 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 alright. Cool. Five mil. Pretty good, man. Pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, we want all the things. All of those things. need to add more design because that's now technology's higher gotta find a balance do some do some research my man martial arts no no we want medium games go for that planet craft what did it get what did it get what did it get seven good because this means that we're genuinely a good company. This means that we're putting out games that are constantly rated like five or above, which is awesome. That's the kind of company that you want to be. You want to be like Naughty Dog, where like they don't they don't always put stuff out, but when they do, it's like awesome. You know? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Successful, successful, successful. Wow. Look at those units. We wonder how it more to sell. Man. Crazy. I think it's going to hit over a, a million. A million K. Such a big fan base, you should be able to self publish medium games. I think places I followed the progress with you for a while. It seems your recent expansion, you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. The publisher will market and publish your game around the world. It will also help fund development in return. It will keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some pub publishers. You can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Find publishing contracts been unlocked. It's been accessible in the action menu. Cool. Don't need the joystick. Don't see a need for the joystick, honestly. New topic. Martial arts. We're gonna make Street Fighter. And Street Fighter's gonna be awesome. We just got World of Planetcraft, which was recently used by Thwip Inc. Thwip Inc. has racked over 10 million in sales. Competitors have been observing, muttering, jealous remarks. Thwip Inc. so great. Mm, screw you, Thwip Inc. You need more training, young young lady. Uh, technology. Let's do the code jam. Need research points. All right, wait. Let's see here. Find publishing deal. Using a publisher is a great way to get your games in front of a large audience, which in turn helps your grow your fan base. Once your fan base is big enough, you can self-publish your large games without need of a publisher. 
For medium games, you should aim to have at least 10k fans before you publish them yourself. Okay. So we just researched medium games. <laughs> you think that was why? To use a publisher, you need to sign a contract. The contract will dictate what game you need to create. Pay attention to all the details. Most importantly, the minimum score that the contract dictates. If the game you release does not meet the minimum score, you will have to pay a penalty, but it can be costly. It's also important not to pay attention to the royalty rate. The higher the rate, the more money you will make from the contract. Okay, to pay attention, not to not pay attention. Fashion, any topic, action, mystery, any topic, action. Martial arts, because I feel like some of those, some of those smaller games, you know, or medium per se, almost like indie games, I would think is what they're talking about. Is uh, you know, the, the kind of simple fighting games. You know what I mean? Concept Road Fighter. It's been a while since we made another Last Fantasy game. You think we should do that? Yes. Whip Tech 3.5. Okay, it's version 3. Who pleases? Contribution to the game industry. Okay, wait. The Worldwide Game Developers Guild has awarded Thwipblazes CEO of Thwip Inc. with a Lifetime Achievement Award for contribution to the game industry. Thwipblazes has, during a stunning 30-year career at Thwip Inc., delivered many groundbreaking games. You're darn right I have. You are darn right I have. Whoa. I was just recording zero frames per second. That was kind of scary. The company is most recently known for Game 46. No, the sequel for Game 46. Congratulations, you have finished Game Dev Tycoon. We will not calculate final score and show you some statistics. You may continue playing after that. What? Most expensive, Assassin's Creed 2. Most profitable game, Game 46. Damn it. Most profitable, least profitable, urge to go fast. Most topic used, fantasy. Most used genre, RPG. Research topics 32, total research completed 36, design points generated, technology points generated, small games 61, medium games 0, yeah, because, sorry, large games 0, AAA games, what? good games 15, top hits 5, publishers used 0. Yeah, darn right. I'm independent. Self-published game, 61. Best-selling game, 46. 1.2 million. Fans, 157k. Cash, 17.2 million. Custom consoles. You can, you can do that? You can do custom consoles? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Okay, guys, here's what I'm thinking, okay? This really caught me off guard, this ending. Uh, so... Obviously, based on this, there's a lot that I didn't do that I could have done, and I probably played this in a really simplistic way. Um, so, here's, here's a little deal I'm gonna make with you guys. Once I actually have guys that I'm talking to right now, I don't think anyone's watching this. But <laughs> if I can't immediately find a game to replace this series, I'll play it a little bit more and try to do some of the stuff like custom consoles caught my eye. Uh, publishers I'm not really too interested in. AAA games, I don't even know what that is. Medium games, uh, again, not. I don't feel like that's super interesting. That's not really something you want to see. So maybe I'll do like five more episodes uh, to kind of give closure to this series because I really don't feel much closure but if this is the last episode then by all means this was a phenomenal game I'd recommend it to anyone who likes these type of games like 
uh, the tycoon sort of business running setup. Uh, it, re it really held my attention. I'm sure you could beat it fairly quick. Uh, I think I could have actually beaten it in one sitting. I don't mean to brag, but if I had had one sitting to play it in, I probably could have beaten it. But uh, even though it's a short game, it's short-lived, but obviously there's a lot you can do. Uh, there's a lot you can create. Um, so, again, I highly recommend this game to, every to anyone and everyone. Uh, thanks so much for watching this series. Shoot me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Congratulations on finishing Game Dev Tycoon. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed our little game, then please consider telling your friends about it. Oh, I just did. If you wish you could continue playing, but please note that there will be no more platform releases or other story elements. Okay. For your larger games, you can make small games. One person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of games. Create a good game, and to make best use of your team, you'll have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. See, I've done none of this. <laughs> Pick team members whose skills best match the area to get the best result. When you assign a team member responsibilities, you will see their workload. Try not to overload them too much. Ah, oh, okay, I'll do this and I'll end the episode. This one. And you're gonna help him out. Oh, he can't. Okay. And then I guess you'll get gameplay? Ugh. I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh man, my hourglass is running out. This episode's gonna be longer than 30 minutes. Sorry. That's right, I use an hourglass. What do you think of that? Dialogues. You can do dialogues, woman. Not that I'm sexist, it's just... Uh, her, her stats are pretty low. That's all. I promise that's the only reason. Stats are low. What, what were the strong trends before? I don't remember any strong trends. World design. Big part. You, you focus on the sound. You just make noises in the microphone. Ah! That's a cow. Alright, keep adding, keep adding to it. Wow, the technology is high, the design is low. I tried as hard as I could with that design. Okay, it's gotta end sometime, guys. It's gotta end sometime. Whoa, okay, done. New combo, good management. Manage them well. 3D graphics version 4. Wow. Did we, like, rush this game or something? Let's go with large boots. I don't care. Road fighter. Six, five, five, six, okay. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Ah, oh, man, really? Whatever. Shirts. Okay. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shoot me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Have I said that enough times? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.